you know, phenomenal. And, and for him, you know, to get through that sixth inning after, you know, really being in a tough situation there in the fifth, um, you know, I had to have a pretty good talk with him after the fifth just to, to be certain that he was okay. And uh, I think for him to go back out there and, and, and have that inning, you know, it allowed us to really set up the bullpen like we wanted to as well. So you can't say enough about Shane and how he competed. You know, one one pitch that left the ballpark, and that was it. So another phenomenal job and a good bounce back for him. What does it say that he wanted? Because I watched the conversation. He wanted to be back out there. What does that say to his teammates to you guys? Well, I, I, I think all his teammates know. I know the coaching staff certainly knows that, you know, he, he's a gamer. He, he wants big situations. He wants to go out and, and do his part, and he certainly does that. You know, it can be stressful from the pitching coach end of it and, and the manager's end, whether it's myself, Tito, DeMarlo, whomever. You don't want to put a guy like that or anybody at risk. Um, but, you know, he had an extended time off coming into this start. He will have an extended time off getting out of this start before his next one. So, um, you know, he'll have time to recover. As a manager, you managed that crazy game last night. <laughs> and then tonight you get into an extra inning game with a guy on second base just – <laughs> what all's going through your mind with everything that's happening? You know, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I haven't done this before. Um, you know, I got a great group of guys around me. More than anything else, it means so much to me how the players are going out and playing the game. I mean, the game's about the players, and if them go out and play the right way, um, that that's all you can ask for. And and um, you know, it's the big leagues. Nothing's supposed to be easy. Some nights um, it's really difficult, but. A win's a win, and this was a good one. What do you say about Andres and how he swung the bat his last two nights pretty good? Yeah, you know, uh, big hits, clutch hits. You know, he's done it a couple times now this road trip. Uh, but, you know, all the guys, you know, put up good at bats against some tough pitching, and, um, you know, that's what it takes just to keep the line moving. Is Framil getting a cramp? Or yeah, right. yeah, he got a cramp uh, as he went down the first baseline, uh, was able to, you know, loosen it up. Um, didn't want him to push it too much, you know, in terms of, you know, really getting out of the box. You know, we need his bat in the lineup. Um, he assured me that he would let me know if he couldn't go. So, um, you know, glad to see he made it through the game and, and feel like he'll be good for tomorrow. What's the biggest difference that you saw between Shane last time out and this time out? You know, really, I think it was just command. Um, you know, very uncharacteristic his last start. Um, you know, not getting the ball on the plate, you know, not really controlling and commanding his pitches. Particularly, I thought the cutter in the Toronto game, he really didn't have a good feel for. Um, you know, a couple times tonight, he kind of, you know, shot some fastballs upward, uh, but was able to get back in his delivery and correct it quickly. Were you guys going out to check on Jimenez or to check on the obstruction? No, we were checking on Jimenez, um, you know, because of the collision and, you know, he just kind of collapsed. I think he banged his shoulder up a little bit, but uh, early reports from the training room is he's fine.